Hello and welcome to today's video vlog. I'm back. It's a new format. I don't know what to think about that. I kind of like it, but I prefer to be in the studio, but the studio was with Paul and Paul's not here anymore, so now I have to do it on my own and when I lasted it on my own, it didn't really work. So today's video vlog is actually looking back, which is funny because I'm from the past and now I'm here and I thought it was funny. Anyway, um, because some people went to see the fireworks about a month ago. God, time flies by. Apparently, they sent a crew down and Chris, I think that's his name. I don't know where he comes from. I mean, he's just one of those presenters who just come and go. Chris went down with the crew to have a look at the firework display and I heard it was rather lovely. The fireworks make a really, really nice noise because they go poof. And sometimes they go so the video we're going to show you today is about the fireworks. You know, on, uh, is it, I think it's 5th of November that people are doing this in this country. They set up a massive firework and apparently it's a really big thing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there were only a couple of thousand people there, so it's not really that big. It's always been fun in the, in the um, past couple of years. I've seen it from uh, the window of my bedroom. But yeah, it's, there, there, there's a VT coming up to a better shop. Hello, I'm Chris Robinson. I'm outside Carlisle Castle and I'll tell you why it has seen better days. I'm just kidding. I'm actually outside the bonfire and it looks pretty good and I cannot wait. And soon, tens of thousands of people will be here watching the show, watching the fireworks and it'll be incredible. I can't wait. But first, let's go and talk to some of the organisers of the event. I'm Margaret Miller. Nice to meet you. From City of, of Carlisle Council. Yeah. This year's theme is built around the story of Carlisle and it'll tell the story of Carlisle from Roman times through to the Middle Ages. Welcome to Park. It's the Carlisle Fire Show. Everything's set up, the crowd is gathering, 35,000 people are expected tonight and I think we should go and head on over and see the fireworks. What do you think of the atmosphere? It's good, it's good. Everyone seven, seems to be having a good night. And despite the wet weather that we've been having, as you can clearly see as well, we're all soaked, but everyone seems to be quite happy. We try and have a theme and this year we wanted we wanted to have a sort of theme that linked into, if you like, Carlisle itself as a place in its own right because Carlisle's got a fantastic history. So it's the story of Carlisle. How did you enjoy the show? I thought the show was capital B, capital E, capital A, capital U, T full. It was an absolutely amazing show tonight. I'm here with Dan here. How did you enjoy the show? It was uh, great, like, good show. What do you think of the carnival? Uh, it's good, it reminds me of back home. Just, uh, kids having fun. Well, it's a Carlisle tradition. I think it's actually, I think it's about who Carlisle is. were incredible, the castle burnt down beautifully and the crowd had such an incredible spirit and you know what, I really, really can't wait until next year. Back to the studio. Well if you like what you've seen and you want to see more you can uh, subscribe and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. If you go on Facebook and type in UOC TV it, you should find the page and you just click like and you get all of the updates and maybe a nice picture of me. You never know if you want to follow me on Twitter. And I love to say that bit because that takes me back in the old days. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at FinHD. And you can find me on various other platforms as well. We've got important news because we're doing a survey at the moment. There's a list of choices. Um, you can tell us if you want to um, hear more about sports. You can tell us if you want to hear more about uh, things that are happening at the university. Maybe student events, drama shows. And you know, in general, we just want to know who you are and what you want from UEC TV to make it better. Tomorrow is uh, the uh, monthly cinema lounge at the uh, Fox's Cafe in Carlisle. It's a really nice cafe. Go down there, have a look. It starts at 7.30 and um, it's their Christmas special. So do expect poetry, films and very many other lovely films and lovely people. Have a drink, go down there, check it out. It's going to be very, very nice. That's it from me. Um, that was your um, video blog for UCTV. My name has been and still is Finn H. Root. I hope you liked today's episode. I hope to see you very soon. Maybe not. Goodbye.
Hello and welcome to today's video blog. A bit more upbeat. Hello and welcome to today's video blog. A bit less wacky. <laughs> Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum heutigen Videoblog.